The other rod got one now, doing some back trolling. This has been so much fun with these micro crankbaits. You gotta do the tiny lure challenge. Oh boy guys, there's that monster fish just hit my micro crankbait. It's early and I'm doing the tiny lure challenge. I'm using these micro crankbaits that I picked up on Amazon for about $10. I'm gonna be casting nothing but these little lures the size of a nickel with an ice fishing rod, a little dinky rod. And we're gonna see what happens and what strikes. Here's the micro crankbaits that I picked up from Amazon. It's a Fovonon brand. It has some realistic colors. So we're gonna see how effective they are in catching fish. This tiny lure challenge. Ch take a look at those cool colors that they have. Very realistic patterns. Here's my rod setup. This little tiny Celsius rod and reel combo that I use for ice fishing. See, it's a very short rod probably not even two feet long and i got this little tiny micro crankbait on i might add a little split shot to help it get a little deeper as i'm casting Woo! hooked into my first fish using the micro crankbait and a little tiny ice fishing rod oh and it's a nice crappie It's hard to do with this little rod. Oh, I lost him. Well, that was crazy. I hooked onto a crappie about 10 minutes into fishing with these micro crankbaits, and I saw a bass falling right behind. So we'll see what happens as I continue to fish with these micro crankbaits. I gotta remember though that this line is super thin. I can't just hoist them in. I'm gonna have to grab them from the water. So next time, I gotta bring a net. Time to switch up my color choice. See if anything else strikes in different colors. Let's try out this orange one next. Something different than uh, the bass coloration I was using. I'll put that bad boy on the line next. Hey, got myself another fish with the micro crankbait. This is just a little bluegill. Let's bring that little bluegill in along with these weeds. <laughs> there he is. Oh boy, guys. I just had a monster fish just hit my micro crankbait. I think it's a bass. Oh, look at it come to the surface. Oh my gosh, it's not a bass. It's a huge bluegill. Let's see if I can get him in. Oh, he's getting closer. Gotta keep reeling him up. Wow, this is unbelievable. Look at this monster bluegill on this micro crankbait. Wow, he hit aggressively. I thought it was a bass. The way that my little rod was bending, that was fun fight. <laughs> this bluegill's right at 10 inches. What a slob. This is what it's all about. The monster bluegills on the micro crankbaits. Just hooked onto another nice one. The way it was spiraling in a circle, I'm thinking it's another nice bluegill. Wow, only a couple minutes later from the last one. Oh yeah, she's putting up a good fight. Spinning around in a circle. This is another big monster bluegill. Better get it in the boat. Wow, another beautiful looking bluegill. on that orange micro crankbait. 
I caught back to back 10 inch bluegills, probably only three minutes apart. I'm gonna let this big guy go now. There he goes, took off. Wow, another nice one. Down deep. Yes, Blue got pulled right out of the weeds. Almost lost him. Another nice bluegill. Let's let him go. So far with using these micro crankbaits, I found out that you get a lot of fish hitting at it. A lot of little bluegills and some crappies, but it, the big ones are the ones that are really gonna take it. Cause that crankbait is a little bigger than a jig. And so you tend to get the bigger fish. Which is kind of weird, a micro crankbait to get the monster fish. Let's grab a different color this time. I'm gonna try this minnow micro crankbait out. I'm gonna put on my second rod and we're gonna do some trolling along the weed lines and some of the drop offs. I forgot my Scotty's rod holders. So I'm just gonna have to support with my foot in case of a big one striking, we're just going to do some back trolling. I got my second rod set up right here. Just trolling along, waiting for something to strike. Oh, something hit. On the micro crankbait. A largemouth bass. Awesome. Well, that worked out, doing some trolling. Time to let him go. This is crazy, I just cast it out and started back trolling again, and another fish hit. It's another largemouth bass. The other rod got one now, doing some back trolling. This has been so much fun with these micro crankbaits. You gotta do the tiny lure challenge. It's another largemouth bass on the micro crankbait. Oh, there he goes. Well, I'm just wrapping up my time this morning doing the tiny lure challenge for a couple hours in the morning, only using nothing but micro crankbaits. This has been a blast, whether casting the weed line or doing some trolling out deep or along the, the structure. There's been so much action, whether it's getting some small bass or some monster bluegills and crappies. It's been a lot of fun. And so I hope you give it a try, the tiny lure challenge. So stay tuned for more fishing challenges to come in the future. And subscribe to Epic Adventure Guy.